Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. I want to turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 12. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Precious saints, this past night I had a dream and in this dream I was going from company to company in different workplaces and the Lord specifically gave me the words witchcraft manipulation and workplace manipulation. What we are seeing taking place right now across all workplaces with the enforcement of certain things Precious Saints is nothing other than the old witchcraft manipulation and workplace manipulation. Precious Saints, as I was in this dream and I went to the source of the person that was doing this, it was un none other than Satan himself bringing about his agenda on the earth within this hour. Precious saints, we are in a spiritual battle and the battle appears, as I've mentioned before, it is over thrones, altars and gates of authority. See, the enemy has occupied these thrones, these seats within cities and nations and people's souls for thousands of years. Satan desires to be king and to sit on thrones and to give him authority to occupy those places and peoples with his demonic agendas. Exactly what we're seeing taking place right now. And he not only uses his demonic hierarchy according to ephesians uh, 6 verse 12 as we've mentioned principalities and powers and so forth also to take these seats of power but he also uses human agents to you know to serve him upon the earth precious saints that is why satan will place those he chooses within positions of power within all levels of government in the financial institution, in religious institutions, in educational institutions, in media outlets, in all your companies, also in the health departments, in the commercial companies, wherever it is, on all levels, within the court system and so forth. Yes, Satan has a very organized pyramid system with him being at the top and those below him that serve him from all levels of the occult, Illuminati, Freemasons, witchcraft, you name it, it is happening within this hour, precious saints. Let me tell you what is taking place right now. God is allowing because it is bringing about his end time agenda. But you as a saint of God have been given authority and God wants you also to exercise that authority that nothing will steal your crown when that day of the rapture happens. But we need to understand that witchcraft and the occult is very real. Precious saints, when I was first saved, the Lord came and visited me in my room. He visited me. I had no one evangelizing me or handing out gospel tracts and so forth. The Lord visited me. And I had a very dramatic uh, salvation experience in those visitations of the Lord. Now, precious saints, in those early days of being saved and then going from church to church, trying to find the one that suited this encounter that I had, it was the born again Christians. But let me tell you, the born again Christians back in that time of the 90s were a lot more powerful than we see within the church today. The born again churches today have become powerless because they've become more like the world than anything else. Precious saints, 
There was one particular night because at that stage when I first got saved, I was still working in a hotel. In actual fact, I was a caretaker. I became a manager of this hotel and it was a place where bikies, prostitutes, you name it, they were there. But I was working in there. It was as though like he placed me there to learn how to, because this was the area that he called me out of. And he also revealed certain things. And there was one guy I came across and he told me he was bragging about the Luciferian satanic circle that he was part of. And he said that even here within Perth, that there are so many people, he, he was bragging, that are people that are part of this, that are in top position powers within the police, within, the, within, within church groups, within you name it, they were there. And he would go to these meetings, he was bragging about it. And as I challenged him and I said, well, what is your only threat? And he said, those born again Christians. He said the only thing was a threat was those born again Christians. Let me tell you, it's not the born again Christians we're seeing today in the majority of churches because they've become powerless. But when this guy said that, it was at that point that I realized that how powerful prayer is, how powerful warfare is to come against the plans of Satan. But what's happened is that he has even placed his agents within churches, his agents within every level of society today, that what we're seeing played out today, people are just shaking their heads. People are trying to come back to the you know, Second Amendment, whether you're in America or you're, you're, you're in Australia and you want to come back to the original constitution and so forth. And it everything in our nations is being stolen right out from under our nose, precious saints. Everything that we're seeing taking place right now, and it is pointing to the very soon return of the Lord. But you must understand, see, witchcraft is the greatest enemy of man in this particular hour. And there's so much manipulation. Yes, because witchcraft is the manipulative power of the satanic kingdom. It is an embodiment of satanic cruelty and wickedness. And let me tell you, it is playing out on all levels of society right now. The spirit of witchcraft is an evil spirit assigned and empowered by Satan to manipulate the affairs of mankind. So one of the aims of witchcraft is to make you repeat negative history within your family. That's just... That's just one aspect. Witchcrafts have caused imaginable havocs and tragedies in the lives of many innocent souls that didn't understand their power in Christ Jesus. Because this guy was going on to me and he says, you know, all these other churches, you know, the Catholics and Anglicans and so forth, these traditional churches, they are no power. And any Christian that is not hot for God is no threat to these witches and satanic circles, precious saints. See, witchcraft is there and it is manipulating society right now. Those that saw that little clip in Australia on the ABC, which is a very leftist, it's actually a government, uh, you know, taxpayer run uh, TV station, a radio station here in, in, in Australia, and it's become so leftist. Now, no wonder why, because everyone that is in our government and so forth, they are being placed there by Satan. And they were airing a satanic meeting in the middle of a news broadcast. You think that's coincidence? No, that wasn't coincidence at all, precious saints. See, many are supposed to live and enjoy the benefits of life but they have been cut short and sent to even an early grave because of witchcraft, because people didn't stand up in the authority that Christ has given them. Each of you as a believer has been given that authority over the devil. He's a defeated foe. But because people have become powerless, because they've become prayerless. See, whenever witches are operating, you will experience high level of poverty and immorality, especially within areas, in, in cities and so forth. Witches sell out the wealth of nations and families to satanic kingdoms. 
witches cause, you know, a chronic poverty, confusion, wandering, mysterious sickness, spiritual slumber, laziness, idleness, slothfulness, you know, foolishness, setback, stagnancy. Uh, you know, ultimately death, misfortune, marital, marital delay, separation, divorce, and all the kinds of wickedness that we're seeing taking place. Precious saints, this stuff is real. And they work with the demonic kingdom to bring this to pass. And they are on every level, within every level of government, society, and they are paid opposition. What am I telling you? Many people are going to be upset very soon when they realize that the people that they put their trust in, paid opposition, are those that you believe are speaking on your behalf. And you kind of like that person because they speak truth. But then all of a sudden, they betray the people. You can see that they were just paid opposition. That's why we shouldn't put our trust in any man other than God and those that are standing firm for righteousness no matter what. It's not about a popularity contest. So if you are dealing with this oppression or these false accusations within your workplace at this particular hour, you know what I mean. You've been pressured. You've been told by a certain date you must have something done and so forth, and, and you're stressing. And remember, the enemy puts pressure on us to make bad decisions. That's one of his tactics. That's one of the weapons in his hands. But we've got to learn to stand back. When you're in that certain situation and you're being told that, just ask three questions. Okay, what's, what's, the, uh, what's the date, you know, the, the, the deadline? Uh, and is it, um, is it something that I can be exempted from? And you just go away and take that information with you and you go and pray and ask the Lord what he is telling you because you guys need to be praying in this hour about this. You should know that you have enemies that are planning to sack you in place even of your position right now, precious saints. That is what is happening right now. Where in the past, many people would battle this with this on a day-to-day -day basis. But this is going to happen to all those that are born-again believers that are standing firm in their faith not to go ahead with what is taking place. And I don't have to use those words because those algorithms pick me up and they will cancel me on every social media. But I think you are aware of what I'm talking about. See, see there is an invisible barrier right now that this drives people into uh, making such decisions there's an invisible barrier around people this barrier developed by evil conspiracy within your workplace they gather even to talk against a person's position and make plans even to bribe bosses to affect their demotion see this is what this is witchcraft workplace manipulation this is stuff that I would deal with on personal individual things, but this is going to happen to each person. When it comes to issues that are attached to a job position, obstacles will always arise and should be addressed with prayers and fasting. All the prayers and fasting you do is also helping you get ahead, but you must understand the enemy's agenda. See, you cannot afford to gamble with your prospects within your life, precious saints. See, we are so close to the snatching away of the bride and the enemy is trying everything he can to attack us before that point. But you are a child of God that was created in God's image and to walk with God, to be more than conquerors, to stand firm and to walk victoriously and to fight relentlessly against the wild and the schemes of the devil, precious saints. You have been given authority within this hour to walk in that authority and to claim and don't let anybody steal your crown. See, the ball is in your court, precious saints. If you wish to bow down to this B system that is playing about right now, then you will just bow down. See, you will just relax or, you know, and allow the enemy to do whatever he wants or you can take back all that the enemy has taken from you to walk in victory god does not have a secretary see he answers all his calls 
personally, precious saints. But he will never do anything except in response to prayer and your willingness to stand firm. When you stand and walk out in faith, let me tell you, you cannot please God without faith and He will back you up. He will help you. He will deliver you for whatever situation that you are facing right now. When you pray the right prayer, you always get the right answer, precious saints. If there is a a, a, a saint to pray, then there is a God always to answer. Saints that pray are those that decide their destinies. And I don't know about you, but I've decided heaven is my destiny. See, a violent and uncommon prayers produce uncommon results when things look bleak and you don't know what to do. You got to cry out to God within this hour and know that our redemption is drawing near. Precious saints, all the signs are here. He is coming back soon, but he also wants you to stand firm in this last prophetic hour. He has never failed anyone before and he will not fail you today. And this is one thing that I am confident that as we continue also to be encouraged and to stand firm in this hour that you will see the hand of God who always makes a way of escape. He provides for our needs. He will deliver you. He will heal you. He will set you free. Now we have a 10 day fasting program coming up, precious saints. I encourage you. It is pivotal that you press into this time of prayer and fasting, even as those that partake in it uh, today of the Friday, corporate Friday fasting. Precious saints, this is not a time to be playing in sin. This is not a time to be playing with God or with your salvation, but it's time for us to press in because all the signs are around us that He is coming back soon and He's coming back for a precious and holy bribe that has set itself apart, that is standing firm in the authority that God has for us. So precious saints, I want to pray for you right now. So I just encourage you to receive this prayer today that God may break every stronghold that is coming against you, any witchcraft manipulation within your workplace or around your home or around your children or around your spouses or around any area. This is time to press in like never before, precious saints, because the devil is real, but Jesus is realer. See, when we come to understand, not everything has been what it seems. There is an enemy's army out there. And many of us have been deceived because we thought we were dealing with certain people, but really they had hidden lives. See, a true born again Christian will be outwardly the same as what they are inwardly. Everything will be on on display. You know, you know, baptism is the outward is the outward, um, you know, uh, com- outward evidence of an inward conviction. So that that means that when we get baptized, we are saying, you know what, this is the real me. This is who you see. This is who I am accountable to. But these people that work for Satan, even within the church today, they are hidden agents. They are not what you see today. So you've got to have your ears pricked up and say, I'm not going to be deceived by anybody in this hour. Anybody that's telling me to run to the B system, anyone that's telling me, hey, no, you won't be able to come to our congregation because you didn't get, you know what I'm talking about. And then you've got to ask your question, something is wrong with these people. Some people can be even used by the enemy because of witchcraft manipulation. And they don't even know they're being used. But let me tell you, there are those that know that being used also. So let me pray now against this witchcraft manipulation that we may be ready also for the snatching away of his bride. Let me pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come against the activities of witchcraft that are taking place. And Lord, any 
demonization that is taking place within their workplaces, within their families. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that they may be rendered powerless. Yes, so right in the midst of this spiritual warfare today, I declare your word spoken to Jeremiah. You said that you will make us to be your people, a fortified bronze wall around us, and they will fight against us, but they shall not prevail. For you, God, are with us to save us and to deliver us. Yes, these are your words. And you will deliver us from the hand of the wicked, and you will redeem us from the grip of the terrible, O Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you. And I thank you for the jobs and the provision that you're given to each person because your word says that the steps of a man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. We thank you that you are the one that orders each person's steps, even within their workplace, even within their family life, in the name of Jesus Christ. So Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord, that as they work alongside even their colleagues and even those around them and their spouses, colleagues and so forth, we pray against any strongholds that they may operate under. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against right now pride, stubbornness, envy, anger, cursing, jealousy in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for our children that are in college, that are in school, that are being pressured in this same way. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against all those forces of darkness because the blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things. Oh Lord, we ask that you would circumcise the foreskins of our hearts. Oh Lord, give us a new heart and put the right spirit within us. Oh Lord, we thank you. Jesus, that you are the baptizer of the Holy Spirit and fire. Baptize our hearts, Lord, with a blazing fire. We thank you, Jesus, the baptizer of the Holy Spirit and fire to baptize our minds also with your blazing fire right now. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, the baptizer of the Holy Spirit and fire to baptize our thoughts with your blazing fire. We thank you, Jesus, the baptizer of the Holy Spirit and fire to make our hearts the citadel of the Word of God, of power, praise, fire, and Holy Spirit. We thank you that you would take over our lives and that we would be vessels that would be honorable for you within every area of our lives and our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, Lord, we thank you that as you prepare your bride to be ready, prepare us to be ready for the rapture of the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we give you thanks for giving us even a place of work, wherever that is, whoever's employed, Lord, I pray for the blessing that that has been for them. Lord, and Lord, I thank you for those that are grateful also for your protection over their workplace. Lord, if you want them to stay there, then nothing shall come against them. If you want to remove them somewhere else for this period of time, then do so. Lord, just as we're going to escape the wrath to come, oh Lord, hide us from all those that are planning to conspire against us and even our positions in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, every door of oppression opened against any person's workplace. May it backfire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Lord, Lord, and stand up for our help and let the destructive plans of the enemy against us just backfire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Congregation of satanic gossipers, within our workplace, Lord, using their evil thoughts to stop any person listening, be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Those planning to make trouble with any person within their workplaces, within their colleges, within their schools, within their families, whatever it is. Lord, I pray, especially in the workplace, that they shall not succeed because our God will arise up in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power using any of their bosses or workers to attack them, your end has come and you will no longer attack them in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree by the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, today, 
that we reject every evil report concerning their employment, concerning their education, concerning any areas in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, whatever thing is within our lives, Lord, that will not allow us to follow you and enter into the rapture. Reveal them now and deliver us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We refuse every last minute error that would hinder us from heaven and the rapture in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, even any job that would stop us entering into the kingdom of God, remove it and supply for our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we come before you in total surrender to your will. Help us to not yield to the temptations and lusts in the name of Jesus Christ. Every witchcraft manipulation coming against us be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, help us to always exercise self-discipline so that we will not be defeated by Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, give us victory over the attacks of temptation, lust and sin that always come against us. Lord, that by Satan and his demons today be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, protect our minds every day by the fire of the Holy Ghost against the influence of Satan and his demons in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive today and each person shall receive the power to walk in the Spirit so that they will not fulfill the lust of the flesh or the lust thereof in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you would help us to put on daily our, our full armor of God and that we will also put on Christ Jesus, that we will not make provision for the flesh to lust thereof in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever thing is making us to prefer physical pleasure to spiritual gain in Christ Jesus, we put it away and put it off by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you because you are the preparer of the bride of Christ that is being ready, being prepared. Prepare us to be ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever things are within our life that will not allow us to follow Jesus Christ into the rapture, O oh Lord, reveal them to us and deliver us from them in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, destroy completely the gale of bitterness within our hearts. Holy Spirit of God, release your fire to consume every thorn, choking the Word of God or anything or holiness or anything being displayed within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Lord, we know that you have the power to heal our hearts. Lord, heal our hearts today. Heal our minds today and remove every evil thought totally and completely today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jesus, because you have the power to prepare us as you sent the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Lord, that prepares the bride to be ready, prepare us ready for the rapture of the saints today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever things within our life that will hinder us from heaven, Holy Spirit, reveal those things right now and deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we reject every evil error and mistake that will hinder us from the rapture today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind and break all witchcraft, curses, spells, and all powers associated with it. Through the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ, your Son, we destroy the works of every witch, warlock, wizard, sorcerer, and all other powers of darkness that are working within our societies at this present time in the name of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we break all their powers, including the influence of witchcraft over the airways, evil powers, spells, hexes, vexes, voodoo, hoodoo, roots, potions of any such things off of us, our family, or of those around us and brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against the Prince ruling spirit and all spirit guides operating around each person's area right now. I come through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. I paralyze you and silence you for 
forbidding you from influencing or strengthening those witches or warlocks operating each individual person listening's area in the name of Jesus, guys. We are destroying your very works. The spirits of hate, bitterness and murder, spirits of wizardry, sorcery and all your co-spirits, your works, your powers, your influence are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I paralyze you right now that you will not be able to use this any person's soul or any person of those witches within those area any longer against your church in this hour. Lord, I come against the spirit of blindness that is blinding people, that is binding the spirits of bondage also right now and heaviness and fear and hate that are coming against your people. I pray, Lord, that you would open the eyes, Lord, of each witch that is operating. Bring them to repentance right now. Open their hearts so that they can hear your voice. Break the yokes in their lives and give them liberty in their souls that they may be free to repent today in the name of Jesus Christ. And anybody else that is listening that is in bondage, Lord, remove those demons that are hindering them from their salvation. Remove those that are trying to prepare for the rapture. Show them every evil work and every evil deed that they're guilty of. And Lord Jesus, convict their hearts unto repentance. Bring these souls out of darkness and save their souls so that they may, Lord, see and testify of your glory. Satan, I silence you in the name of Jesus Christ, binding all your interference, that you will not interfere with these souls so that they can be saved and also ready for the day of the rapture. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, all those that are under mind control, we bind that spirit right now. Come out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we destroy the works of Satan right now in the name of Jesus. To the demonic forces that are carrying out any assignments of witchcraft against any person that is listening right now and their spells in the name of Jesus your powers and strength are destroyed now and from this day forth you shall not touch or hinder those people listening right now and their families in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I pray Heavenly Father I have Lord we thank you as we come before you today we take authority over and break any and every curse upon each person's life listening in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I exercise my faith in the blood of Jesus Christ and I loose each person and their descendants from any and every curse in the name of Jesus Christ. I claim their deliverance today and their freedom right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would touch them, Lord, that you would heal them and deliver them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for you have the power to change the heart of men. Liberate each person's heart right now. Lord, any darkened heart, Remove it right now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that blindness may be removed from them also in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you because Jesus, you have the power to change the heart of man. Destroy the spell of the kingdom of darkness over any person's heart by fire. Remove the veil of darkness covering their hearts right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jesus, because you have the power and through your name, we have given us authority to bind all forces of darkness. And we bind all forces of darkness that are operating against us in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you prepare the bride, Jesus, that is ready for Jesus. Prepare us for the rapture of the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever things that will not allow us to be raptured, Holy Spirit, reveal those to us and deliver us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We refuse to venture into any error mistake or sin that will hinder us from the rapture and heaven by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ right now. We know, Lord, that you are coming. And Lord, we want to stay absolutely ready for that day of your coming. So Lord, I pray that you would touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, deliver them, heal them, prepare them for their coming, give them the grace to stand firm in this hour of workplace witchcraft manipulation. I pray in the name of Jesus, you've given that authority to stand firm in this hour 
that they will not submit to this beast system, but stand victorious in every way in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch them, come and fill them in Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, subscribe to our second YouTube channel because our second YouTube channel is the one that is able to upload this week. I'll be able to upload again next week from the main one, but I encourage you to also subscribe to Catch the Fire Repentance Revival, this one that you may be watching this from, or that you'll be able to see the link for that in the description box also. So I encourage you, also follow us on Facebook or Instagram because a lot of people are saying, where are you, Pastor? I haven't seen you upload anything. I've been uploading every day, but because you're not subscribed or because you're not following those other areas, then you're not going to be able to see the uploads in this hour. The devil is a liar and we must learn to prepare because he's coming back sooner than we think. So also don't forget, we've got the up and coming 10 day fasting to go in line with the 10 days of awe in the Jewish calendar, precious saints. And don't forget the feast of trumpets all the way up to the day of atonement on the 16th and then you've got the feast of tabernacles which takes place towards the end of september precious saints these are the feast days that need to be fulfilled within that period of time i don't know about you but heaven is looking really good right now and i'm looking forward to that thousand year millennium i was just speaking to someone and saying imagine being on the earth during the thousand year millennium there won't be any of this stuff that we're seeing right now, that's for sure. There will be that last uh, rebelling of Satan towards the end. But I don't know about you. I'm looking forward to serving Jesus righteously under his kingdom. Hallelujah. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for your precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.